Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are continuing our live coverage of the Slam Dance Film Festival, and I am sitting down with the director of a powerful film that you are not going to want to miss. It's already getting a lot of buzz here at the festival called Hotel Cool Guardy, and I'm sitting with director Pete Gleason. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me Thank on. Thank you. So I want to start first with just the plot of this film because it's, it's unique. Yes, yes, and it goes in places you don't really expect it yes. to, to go to. And I think that's the thrill of, uh, it's an observational documentary. So even when I was out there filming, I didn't know where it was, it was going to, to go. Um, but essentially the plot is two uh, Finnish backpackers um, are relieved of their travel savings um, by a thief in Bali. Mm -hmm. And they arrive in Australia looking for work so they can continue their travel, save some money um, and have, you know, an outback holiday experience. And um, they get sent to a, a place, a dot on the map, um, kind of as, as fresh meat, <laughs> as, new, as new barmaids out in this remote mining area. And it's a very hyper-masculine area, and it's just about how they kind of cope with that. So, you know, there's these two young females, pretty girls, out backpacking, trying to have a great experience. They get left basically in the middle of nowhere to work as barmaids, and I think the term fresh meat, that, that, that expression <laughs> always sort of confused me because people say it so casually and you think about how that would feel to be described as fresh meat y to yeah. a group of men and you can actually feel that energy I in the picture. Yeah, and it's said in a quite uh, jocular manner to start with it, you know, it's, it's said okay. in a joking way sure. and you it know, you know, it's not meant to t take right. offence <laughs> and um, I think that's what the film does, it explores what's kind of underneath all of that, that humour. Um, and, and there's laughs in the film. You, you go, you start laughing, and you keep laughing, and then uh, somewhere along along the way, you the kind of get of uncomfortable with, with what you're laughing at. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. It's like you sort of see it, and you think, oh, this is okay, and then it's one step further. That's okay, and then you just see how far can I take this before we all start to kind of coil back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it's great watching it in a cinema because you you, you have that laughter, 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 and then suddenly it becomes gasps, and <laughs> and then this this <laughs> discomfort, this really palpable discomfort and it's, it's yeah it's a little bit kind of punishing in the end and I guess that's what the film does is it taps into that female experience of having to um, if you have to duck and weave and be good sport and you know navigate that you know very masculine space all the time it can become totally exhausting if that's your 27 uh, 24 7 you know, wall to wall experience. Well, and I think it's, what you do you so know, beautifully is look at it from the female perspective of sure, it's harmless at first, and then it's sort of funny, and then it just becomes a, a contest of how much can you withstand mm. uh, before it, it just becomes overwhelming. And I, I think another thing that you did beautifully was to show what it does to these women internally mm. and on a day-to-day -day basis when they're in the privacy and when they shut the door from that persona they have to put on with all of the guys and keep it going what they're like you know at the end of the day when they're just sitting alone with themselves yeah yeah and for me as a d director that was a, a revelation as well because y you know I I knew what it was like on the drinking side of the bar <laughs> you know I knew that pub before I went to film there from the, the drinking side of the bar um, and part of the reason we went to, to film out there was because we thought there were some great characters in the pub and it was, a, it was about the anticipation of the girls arriving and we were, I kind of expected, um, you know, that anticipation and even the objectification of them to be part of the mix. And all I expected them, yeah, all in good fun. Um, because most girls that go out there, they, they do adapt. Um, but sometimes it's just it's out of necessity and I was interested in exploring that space you know what was out of necessity what was um, like a survival willingly, tactic yeah, yeah. yeah. I, to be honest I was surprised after I saw the preview of the film and some clips from it I was surprised it was a male director when I read when I when I saw your name because you really do sort of capture I feel like that sort of quiet desperation and sadness and uh, that feeling that women have when it's just that day-to-day -day grinding on you with that level of, an, of attention and it becomes a really toxic environment where you feel like you just can't get out of it. Yeah, yeah, for somewhere so isolated it becomes quite claustrophobic right. in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> in the end. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. how did your subjects, how did the two females that you were filming deal with all of this? Um, well, with great grace actually. Um, yeah, I mean they just kind of took it in their stride 
Um, and that's part of what it explores as well. They're, they're young women and they're going out and they're in a, this environment with men that are kind of much older than them. And it's, you know, they've, they've committed to three months work out there mm -hmm. and they kind of just accept that that's, this is what, that's, it is. that's what it is and they, tr they try and get through it. You know, even even at, at their worst, they're, you know, they're there for six weeks and they're thinking, oh, I'm here for another nine weeks. And, <laughs> and the audience is going, get out of get there. Get out now, <laughs> why are you staying there? Yeah, well, but I, as a young person, you have that you, sense of, of commitment. So yeah, they, they hung around. And plus they wanted to, I think they, they were quite stoic in that they, they wanted to get they through it and they wanted to have a, a great experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, congratulations on capturing the other side of the bar and uh, what that looks like. I think you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. All Jeez. right. The film is Hotel Cool Gardy, and you are going to see it at this year's Slam Dance Festival and I'm sure in the future. Thank you to director Pete. We are going to be back with much more here on the Mountain Morning Show right after this.